<laughs> can you tell? Yeah, I know. You were bit, like, I felt like you were going to topple over. Yeah. Because I think I got in them too early. I put them on about an hour and a half ago, and so my toes have. You want to get in them right at the last second? Is I that know, the key? That's the trick. Yeah. But I was over enthusiastic to see you. I heard. Well, thank you. I'm excited to see and you. And Mariah Carey. Yeah, I heard you. Mariah Carey. <laughs> Are you a big Mariah Carey fan? I am, you are. and I actually got to go uh, backstage and meet her. Oh, you did? Oh, just, and uh, yeah. I don't want to brag, but she did say that we could go on a play date because we have kids the same age. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Well, you know, she likes to let her kids swim in the pool with their clothes on. i got to get my kids some bull gowns. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up in Australia primarily, yes. right? Yes. So what was the first concert you ever went to see? Um, I actually, oh, I went with my brothers to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. But we couldn't afford to get three tickets, so we had to save up to get one ticket. So my brother Daniel, my eldest brother, went first, and he gave his ticket over, and then he climbed right to the top of basically the, where the stadium is and then tucked it into his shoe, threw his shoe over the fence to me. So then I had the ticket, and I got to go through next. And then I went back upstairs and found my brother Daniel, and then I put the ticket back in his shoe. But, of course, I'm a terrible shot. And then I threw the shoe at the fence and it gets stuck. So my little brother, Eddie, never saw the Red Hot Chili oh, Peppers. Oh, poor Eddie. And my brother, Danny, saw the concert with one shoe. Oh, boy. <laughs> and the security, they weren't suspicious when you came, you walked into the concert with a single shoe in your hand? <laughs> no, I put it in my backpack. I see, okay, that's the way to go. So you come from a family of um, swindlers, basically, yes. yes? Yes. Where do they all live now? Where, like, where, does your, where do your parents they live? They all live in Greece. They oh, live on an Greece? island called Syros, and, yeah, we have these uh, youth hostels, I think Americans call them. We call them backpackers, but, oh. um, yeah, they have them in Athens, and, and it's so really fun. So they run fun. them? Yeah, they run them. They have, like, a, they have a sports bar and a laundromat and a bunch of these, like, big buildings that young people stay at when they're traveling. Do you ever go and stay in the youth hostel? No, but I do feel like every time I go, I really want to work and help out, but I'm just the worst at it. Oh, you re you're asked to... Are you asked to work and help out, or do you just kind of want to pitch in? I, I want to pitch in, but then I always get shafted, and my brothers give me, like, the night shift on reception where you have to work the computer. And... For real? Yes. So people walk into a youth hostel, and you're there working yes. the, the counter? And they don't know that my mom owns it, so they just think my career's really over. <laughs> <laughs> That she's not doing any movies anymore. And then I always fall asleep. But the worst is the bar, when I have to work the bar, because what? I can never... Like, at some point, the till usually malfunctions, and then somebody will ask for something that I don't... A white Russian or something, I don't even know what it is. So then I make some cocktail, and they'll give me, like, 20 euros, and I'll go, and there is your change, 20 euros. I give them the same change back because I can't open the till, and I'm too embarrassed. <laughs> I'm too stupid to admit. And also, you're really not making them the drink that they ordered, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> so it, no, it seems I fair haven't. that they would get it for free. Well, you must be very popular, though. Most bartenders who give the drinks away really do well. I can well. barely see over the bar. I'm not popular, I'm telling you right now. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>